Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we are talking about fishing accessories that I found in Japan. This is a little bit of a haul that I got from Japan and I think these things are just so clever. I wanted to show everyone just so you can see what's out there if you haven't yet. Now, on that note, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps me make more of these videos and this channel covers everything from ultralight big game everything in the middle including fly fishing so yeah we're looking at these accessories first one i want to talk about is this spool belt or spool band whatever you want to call it it's it's actually quite clever unlike other designs like this one which is the most common or a morph or a uh, a mutation okay of this this is actually a band okay there's no velcro to uh, put in now this one actually has a size a specific size so when you buy it you actually look at your reel so if this one says from 1000 to 2000 we have a 1000 size reel here then all we have to do is just put it on like that as you can see it is a perfect fit and what's clever about this is that they have this loop that you can put when the rod is fully rigged with a lure and when you're traveling from one place to another or you're just carrying it and and i think that's very clever because it keeps the lure in a place where it is very easy to access very handy if your reel doesn't have the clip the line clip on the side now the problem with the line clip of course is that it kind of damages the line a little bit but if you, with this one you could just clip it put it out there and it's not gonna get damaged that's one very good thing about this band and also obviously the first one we talked about or the one that I mentioned earlier was that if your reel is fully rigged you can have your your lure here and it's kind of out of the way and it's much better than actually putting it on your rod or you know it's just another way to hang it so that's that's pretty pretty cool which i find just so smart i don't know if you could find this elsewhere but i i, I got this in japan like a, a couple of years back and i've, I've been using it since I, I, I love it i love it okay now these zip ties are no ordinary zip ties as you can see here they're, they're color coded. That's one. One of the things I actually find really cool about it. Now, I'm, I'm gonna zoom in on the picture, which I, I think you can actually already see. Okay, right there. So, you can color code it for each rod. That's one. And two, it is actually a lure holder. And you know what? If your reel doesn't have a lure holder, you could just put one in with this. And it attaches via a zip tie. So, this thing is actually a zip tie. How cool is that? So you can have different colors for different types of rods that you uh, you want to use, and it's I, I, it's just so clever. It's just so clever. Now for the fish eaters out there, um, you know a lot of people have been using the Ikejime. Uh, you spike the head and all that, but this is actually something that that goes after that. Okay, what this is is something that you put in on the spine of the fish to relax the fish and actually just cut off the nervous system okay i i haven't really seen a lot of this outside of the uh well outside of japan really so i just bought one for myself and i thought this was, this was pretty cool what this is so if you open this it's a, it has a spike with a handle right so as soon as you spike the fish you insert this this uh, flexible wire inside and it goes to the spine and when it goes to the spine the fish just relaxes it changes color and you preserve the flavor of the fish now um these two right here is actually very 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 interesting uh in the u.s they have bottom walkers and that's very cool if you know how to use them but this is actually a shore fishing tool what it is, is a way for you to deliver really light lures, even flies, at a good distance with your spinning or bait casting gear. 
And you know, the Japanese, <laughs> uh, they even mark the, the weight. So you can see here, this one is, this one is uh, 15 grams, as you can see there. Okay, it's 15. This one is 10. Okay, now the very cool thing about this is that this is actually a floater. This is the weight down here. So when you cast out, this is literally standing just like that. And this drags, but this one keeps it up, which means that you only have a very small contact with the bottom. And it's detailed there. As you can see from your reel rod, you attach the, uh, you attach your line like that. And then you have your spreader arm. It keeps everything from, from tangling. And then after that, you have your soft plastic. And you could use really tiny jigs as well. Uh, spoons. Obviously, the leader there is going to be thin. And then also unweighted flies, or in this case, in the illustration right there, it is a soft plastic. And they mainly use this for soft plastics. And I, I really think that that's pretty clever. I, I know that there's something like this in the States, but having a float there just to keep this upright is just genius. All right, so that's that's pretty cool. Now, for everyone that's slow jigging, um, you know, when you're finished with your, your reel, you know, it's like this, right? Um, just your, your lines out there, okay? Now, here's something really clever that I found, okay? This is by Saltwater Boys. Now, this one right here, okay? I'm going to zoom in. I haven't seen this here and I haven't actually, to tell you honestly, I haven't actually gotten around to, to uh, put this on my reel. But this little thing gets attached to this part right here, okay, or here. And what it does is change that screw out into a line holder so that you can just clip your line there and it won't go under because there's a, there's a, there's a danger of actually having your line go under itself and form a loop. And as you reel in, you don't notice that. Or when you drop, you don't notice that. But at one point in time, it will jam. So it's kind of dangerous to actually put it like that. Okay, I've just pulled this, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna install this later on and, and uh, put it there. But I just think it's so clever that even with conventionals, they actually invented something like this because it's something that's quite useful. It's it's out of the way, and it's just something clever. All right, so that's that's pretty cool. Now the last one I'm gonna show you is is actually something you can't buy, and this is something actually so clever. Okay, I am going to, and this is how just how the Japanese think. It's it's anodized aluminum, as you can see. There's a hole there. You could use it as a uh, a keychain. One thing that I have to say, this thing lacks is a can, is a bottle opener, not a can opener, but a bottle opener. If this had a bottle opener, it would have been perfect. <laughs> but um, this is from a company, Hots. And as you can see there, it's not for sale. This is actually one of their giveaways. And this was kind of recent. They sent over a box and these were in it. And what this is, Okay, so you could use the button or you could use the point there to press buttons for elevators. Okay, and you can use the this part here to open doors. That's that's pretty, pretty clever. Okay, so these fishing guys. Okay, and, and by the way, um, I use this to tighten assist hooks. <laughs> Just just so you, so I find I found a really good way to actually use it without using it outside so that's that's something um, you know when you're tightening knots and everything with the assist hooks and all that so you know you have two of these and it, it's perfect so um, it's just an example or these are all examples of of how the Japanese are just so innovative with a lot of things and there's Honestly, there's a lot more in Japan that just blows you away. There's there's several different types of things for doing the exact same thing and, and quite innovative. Now, the question is here, 
and I don't mean to stir the pot with this conversation is that what are the US equivalents now if you find something that's quite innovative in the States comment down below and and even some that are actually similar and what you think of them oh by the way uh, here's a very good tip so this is a studio ocean mark handle okay it's great I love it and all that problem is when I'm jigging with it my fingers actually hurt okay especially when I'm not using a glove so uh, one of the things I do is actually put this hair tie here okay and what happens is when I grip instead of hitting metal like that which hurts okay this protects this protects my fingers and it feels very very comfortable so uh, if you're having the same problem that tip will save you right there all right so guys I hope this proved interesting and fun for you again if you haven't yet please like and subscribe for those that have subscribed already thank you very much for the support and hey guys guess what I'll see you in the next one